tutorial. So here is the trap. We have two doors. On the right, you'll see a Temple Cat tag. This has actually a handle and you can lift up and down for quick, easy access. And um, if you look inside, this is where the food should go. So something like that, okay? And there is a trigger plate right in front of the space. So the idea is we want the kitty to enter us from the opposite door, walk all the way, step on the trigger plate in order to eat. Okay, so the goal is to actually put the food as far back away from the trigger plate as you possibly can. Be careful that if it's too close to the trigger plate, the plate won't actually come down. So the kitty must step on the plate and make the plate come down completely to shut the entrance door over on that side. Alright, so this is the side for your food bait. Oops. Now careful when you close this, you want to make sure that you really lock this handle right here. Not only that, there is this plastic clip right here. It's just so that in case if a cat is rattling, this could actually open. Even if it just lifts a little bit, a cat could slip out. So after you're done setting the food, you want to clip... Whoops, hard to do with one hand. You want to actually clip... There you go. Your door to the actual body of the trap. So this way, there's absolutely no way this door could ever be lifted. Okay, so that's for your food. On the opposite side, this is a little hard to do one-handed. Um, I'm gonna try and attempt. So, you'll see that there are two rings. It's designed so that a cat without thumbs cannot possibly lift bows. Um, all right, so in order to open this side of the door, you have to lift both rings now this door becomes a flap it's completely free falling there's nothing to stop the door from shutting down except if your trigger plate is in place so i want you to actually come and look inside so this is the side of the door and you'll see where my hand is right now this little bar is actually part of my free falling door okay so to stop this door from falling you'll see an opposite bar right here this is actually a long bar that goes the entire length and then is attached to the trigger plate okay you see that bar right there okay so by turning the trigger plate bar to horizontal position. Now our front door that goes down vertically can rest against each other. They basically make a cross so that the door now remains open. Okay, And then when Kitty steps on this, There you go, and the door shuts behind it. Okay, so again, two ring doors come up, open the door. Now you need to make sure my vertical door uh, bar attached to the door goes against the trigger play bar, which must be on the horizontal position to stop my door from free falling vertically down. Okay. So that's it. Now, this door is so sensitive. So the slightest motion or wiggling movement, the door will shut on you. So you absolutely need to make sure you place the trap on completely flat ground. So there's no wiggling of any sort. And if necessary, maybe put a few heavy rocks on top of the trap once you have it set, just so that it stops it from really wiggling if a cat goes up against it and rubs against the, 
the cage. Alright, so thank you guys. I hope this helps.